want to go and all of that. I am Syrian. Syria big people, big, big problem. Another night of trying to get to Britain from Calais. This morning, some sleep before it all begins again. Because of these scenes, the government is talking tough on immigration, talking tough to the electorate, talking tough to would-be migrants, talking tough to the 25-year-old Eritrean who lives here in Birmingham. A journey that started six years ago when she was 19. And this morning, to guest to guests, asylum application was rejected. I don't know what to do. I don't know. But I can't go back to my country. It's better to die here. She arrived from the jungle in Calais in the back of a lorry in February. Compliments of the smugglers. Why the UK and not France? What I know about France is only the jungle in Calais. Oh, I see. As you see the pictures, all I know is that one. So you I don't have anything the reason, about The France. reason why you left France yeah. was that your only experience of it was the jungle. So you thought, I want to get out of here as well. Yeah. On my mind, the safe place is here when I can. Okay. At the moment, she gets about five pounds a day from the government and a room in this house, along with six others. Why should the British taxpayer pay for this room and give you 36 pounds a week? So how can I survive if they didn't give me, they, they didn't allow me to work, you know? They, I'm not allowed to work here. I'm not allowed to do anything. And the six pound they give me is only to eat. So what are you going to do for the rest of the day? If her appeal is unsuccessful, she will, understandably, also lose the right to the accommodation. Mm. Today, the government re-announced a scheme whereby landlords can end the tenancies of illegal immigrants and also for those whose asylum claims have failed. The scheme was initially piloted last year here in Birmingham. Today, ministers were hailing it as a success, but they were also challenged on how many deportations resulted from it.